Good morning. Today's lesson is 112, subtracting, pin decimal point on whole number. So what we're going to do is um, take everything we've learned the last couple days. We're going to line up the decimal points. We're going to place a decimal point on the whole number. And then we're filling empty places with zero. And we're going to do this to be able to subtract a whole number and a decimal. So for instance, our first problem that they do in our book, I'm on page 427. Now I'm on page 428, and once again, if you don't have your journals with you, make sure and go grab it. Just push pause and come back. Okay, so these are the rules when we're doing this today, and we'll follow them. For example, they give us 3 minus 1.23, and what we need to do first is line up our decimals. Okay, well, what do we do when we don't have a decimal here? We place it. right there. So now we'll have three point and then, oops, that's not a subtract. There's a subtract. 1.23. And the last th thing we learned in our lesson was to fill in zeros. And so that's what we're going to do. Now, how do we do this? Yeah, we have to go all the way over here. And now we can do 10 take away 3 is 7. 9 take away 2 is 7. Place our decimal point. 2 minus 1 is 1, and we get 1.77, or 1 in 7,700. Okay, so now it's time for our journal. We're going to do some of our practice together. Let's take a look at A. A, we have 3, and where are we going to put the decimal for this? Very good, right after our whole number, and we're going to minus <clears throat> 0 0.12. Fill in your zeros, and go ahead and subtract. Once again, now you're ready. 10 take away 2 is 8, super. 9 take away 1, 8. 2 take away 0, 2. And we get the answer, 2 and 88 hundredths. Super good. You guys got this? It's kind of just a review of everything we've done. Place your decimal point, put your 0, 0. But we only needed one 0 this time. I got carried away. Okay. 10 take away 3 is decimal point, 2 take away 0 is, very good, so we have 2 and 7 tenths. Okay, let's take a look at C. We have 4.2 minus 2, so what are we going to do with the minus 2? Yeah, we're going to put it over here and put our decimal point and put a 0 to hold our place. 2 take away 0 is 2, we have a decimal point, 4 take away 2 is 2, and we get the answer 2 and 2 tenths. Okay, I think you guys have it, but let's do one more together. Let's do D. Okay, so we have 4 minus 2.2. You go ahead and line that up now. Okay, how does it look? Did you put your decimal point here? Filled your place with the 0, now subtract. Uh-huh, 8 and 1. So we have 1 and 8 tenths. Very good. And that's our lesson today. Go ahead and do um, numbers 1 through 25 like usual, and we'll come back at lifetime and answer any other questions. See you this afternoon.